Hello, I'm Shailaja Menon. I'm a psychologist at LifeWorks. Due to the magnitude of uncertainty that we are dealing with day to day, fear and worry are almost normal reactions in this abnormal and challenging situation. Um, in a few minutes, you will be listening to an audio talk um, that will walk you through 10 challenging thoughts that will help you to combat your worry and fear and become a braver you moving forward. So happy listening, take care and stay safe. Hello everyone, I'm Shailaja Menon. I'm a licensed psychologist at LifeWorks. Trust all of you are doing well and have started to adjust to your new normal. However, I also realize that this pandemic has hit us so hard and caused a severe jolt to our very existence that it has unleashed a flooding of enormous magnitude that it has almost drowned us in waves of emotions be it stress, anxiety, anger, worry, fear, irritation, low mood, or sadness. As we are opening up to this new normal, we are also constantly subjected and aware to news that there is an increase in deaths, nations going back to a second lockdown, and stay-at-home orders are being revisited in some parts of the world. All this information and uncertainty puts us in a debilitating state of fear and worry as to what is next for us. Today, we are going to start the audio talk with a visual exercise. I want you all to take a comfortable seat, get relaxed and close your eyes. Breathe in and breathe out gently. Keep your eyes closed and now follow my prompt. I want you all to visualize that you're placing an ice cube in the palm of your hand and gripping it quite tightly. As you hold and grip it tighter and tighter, are you starting to experience water flowing out of your palms and making your hands and attire messy? Remember, your most difficult thoughts and sensations are like this ice cube. The harder you try to control them, the messier it gets. When you visualize holding the ice cube gently in your palm, you will notice that it is less messier. So hold your thoughts lightly. Now that you have opened your eyes, let's talk about how do we combat our fear and worry by holding our thoughts lightly. To do that, let us first of all ask ourselves, what are we fearful and worried of? Due to the magnitude of the uncertainty around us, there is absolutely no respite from worry and fear for things in our lives. Concern about our well-being, concern about our family, and for most of us expats living here, there's a constant worry and fear for our loved ones elderly parents who might be alone back home, children living and studying abroad, families who have gone home and are unable to return back, or a spouse who has gone on a work assignment before the lockdown and is stuck overseas and unable to re reunite with the family, or worry about the stability of our jobs, loss of jobs for some, financial insecurities about the future, and the list goes on. These are all very justifiable worries and concerns and are extremely normal reactions to the abnormal situation we are living in. However, our mind and body certainly pays a price due to the preoccupation of these worries and fears. Underlying all of these worries and fears is a daunting uncertainty, a sense of helplessness and the fear of the unknown. The reason for this is that if we lose a job or fall ill, the unknown constantly persists with the how long question that it's a never ending spiral in our current state. As human beings, we are unable to accept and expect the unaccepted, considering our need to be in some control of our lives. Therefore, the more fearful we become, the more control and certainty we speak. So how do we try to combat this and contain our fears and worries to a reasonable level such that we are able to thrive and be normal in our new normal? So here are the 10 challenging thoughts to combat fear 
and worry. Number one, express yourself. Talk about positive feelings of love, joy and happiness, but also negative feelings of anger, sadness and disappointment. Be willing to talk it out rather than bottle them up. This can make a difference in your mental health and mental wealth. Number two, getting what we want. There is absolutely no way that we could get everything that we want. You will certainly be able to satisfy some of your needs, but to accept that there will always be some dissatisfaction. Number three, getting used to change. This is going to be it for some time now for all of us. Accepting everything is temporary and everything changes. Simply put, everything has a shelf life. Number four, understand urgency versus emergency. Make a list of what are your priority issues in life that needs immediate attention. Rest can wait till the situation changes and gets better. Number five, believe in your power of control. We have no control on what happens to us, people, friends, or the future. However, we are in total control of our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Therefore, reaffirm them. Number six, keep calm and carry on. Incorporate wellness into your lives. Exercise, deep breathing, meditation, gentle moments of your body, like walking, and socialization with friends and family. Number seven, recharge your good mental health. Our minds constantly narrate what we believe and think. Are you happy or are you sad? Is your glass half empty or half full? How you prompt your mind will be the outcome. Prompt them with happy thoughts and feelings. Thoughts of how you overcome some of your life, past life challenges. Look for positive options and evidences to break the worst case scenario or the anticipation of the worst. Number eight, cleanse your approach and attitude. A positive attitude has significant benefits. For instance, practice gratitude by doing little things and acts that touches yours and others' lives. Connect with people who are grounded, uplifting and inspirational. Listen to podcasts or audios that are motivating. Engage in self-talk that's positive and connect with social groups that are being helpful and involved in charity. Number nine, overcoming life risks. All important decisions and changes in life are made on the basis of limited information. Accepting that every situation will have an element of risk will help you to propel forward against all odds. Number 10. Your life is on and running. This is it. We have no rehearsals or second chance. So keep it moving forward with faith and confidence with the best is yes to come. As we come to the end of this talk, I wish you all well and all the best to moving your life forward as a braver you. Signing off with Namaste, the new normal.